Welcome to another edition of Expert Talks by Calkine TV. I'm Sage, your host. Today's special guest is going to share insights from the real estate market. Leanne Pilkington, the CEO of Lang and Simmons. And the real estate sector has been trending as the market changes to meet the current volatile economic climate after last year's property boom. Lang and Simmons offers a full range of real estate services from their website encompassing sales, property management, short and long term leasing project marketing, strata management and more. So here to share her valuable insights is Leanne Pilkington, CEO of Lang & Simmons. Welcome to the show, Leanne. Thanks so much for having me. Well, it's great for you to join us today, being such a long-standing business uh, in operation for over 50 years. Can we start with what are Lang & Simmons business objectives? As a business, we just had a shareholder um, a franchisee buyout 12 months ago. Um, so we've got new ownership and the ownership is very focused on growth um, of the, the brand, but also of our individual business owners. So we feel that our role as a franchisor is to find the pain points for individual uh, businesses and help provide solutions to, to solve those pain points. Sounds great. So at present, I suppose the pain point is the price of houses, maybe the construction materials that are being used to build some high rise buildings. <laughs> In your opinion, what macroeconomic factors are influencing the real estate market, please? Well, certainly, uh, you, you're quite right. Prices have gone through the roof during COVID. They have come or they're starting to come back in some areas at the moment as a result of the high interest rate. So interest rates, um, the global economy, the war in, uh, in Ukraine, inflation and consumer confidence. And it's that last one, it's that consumer confidence that has plays a massive part in the real estate, um, in the real estate industry and the, the massive impact on the volume of properties that are, tr are transacting. Exactly, and with more interest rate hikes looming, um, it's, there's quite a sentiment of uncertainty and, and fear, exactly. Do you agree, then, that Sydney and Melbourne are shifting to a buyer's market? Absolutely, yeah, there's no doubt about that. Um, and but each area, so anybody who is looking at buying or selling needs to really stop looking at the headlines in the media and they need to actually drill in and have a look at what's actually happening in their market in the price point for their particular property because we are certainly seeing those prices coming back more significantly in some areas and in some um, price points than in others. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, very it varies from capital city to capital city. Is is that what you mean? Not just capital, but yes, definitely varies uh, between capitals. But even within Sydney as a market, um, for example, we're seeing um, prices jumped very dramatically in the Northern Beaches, for example, and um, we're finding that they're coming back at a faster rate than in some of the other in some of the other areas. Sure. And what's the differentiation on? that point in regards to freestanding homes to apartments, for example? Well, as you highlighted with uh, construction materials, there's been certainly some concerns around the construction of high rise, um, not just the materials used, but you know, the whole development and building um, process has been caused into qu uh, called into question with some um, defects in some fairly high profile buildings. So there's definitely um, uh, concern um, and, and reticence around buying in some high-rise complexes, there's no doubt. Thank you for that. So Leanne, what are the biggest myths um, people have to decipher on their real estate investment journey? Well, I think that we get a little bit caught up um, with interest rates. Um, so Yes, interest rates are rising. Yes, we have to be very mindful of being able to afford what those interest rates are likely to be um, in, in coming years because obviously uh, real estate investment is a long-term investment. But I think we need to get less caught up in the actual number. You know, I'm from the generation that was paying 19% interest rates and, and, um, and I survived, right? Um, it's not about that number. It's about what we can afford. 
And, uh, and the reality is that you're probably spending the same amount of money um, when you're buying a property. You're just spending more on interest rate, uh, on the interest component and less on the principal. But the actual repayment typically is going to be around the same because that's what you can afford. Um, so, j yeah, just don't get so caught up in, in what, what that interest rate is. Just be mindful of actually what you can afford to pay. Would you say, just throw this into the mix here, that a myth would be that you're always going to make money from an investment into property? I think people need to be very mindful that property is a long-term investment. Um, certainly, um, we have had periods of time where that investment has grown very quickly. Um, but we can't, that's just not always going to be the case. It's a long term investment. I think we need to also get less caught up in the trying to pick the cycle. Everyone tries to pick, you know, I don't want to buy now because I think the prices are going down. Well, unfortunately, by the time we reach the bottom of the market, um, three months has gone by before we actually realise that was the bottom. Okay. So trying to, to, trying to catch the market like sell at the high and, and buy in the low, not even the uh, real estate experts managed to get that right. No. Um, so the governments have been trying to push policy towards making homes more affordable for frontline workers, mm -hmm. I think is the current platform for the new government. Yep. Um, and also some social housing as well, community housing. Um, in mm -hmm. regards to how your insights can help the future purchasers, maybe the first home buyers, how yeah. can investors future-proof their purchases according to you? Oh, look, I think it's all about um, it's all about the research you do before you buy. Um, so from an investment perspective, people need to be really mindful if they're buying to live in it or they're buying um, to invest it because you don't necessarily invest in an area where you want to live. You invest in an area that has the infrastructure um, around um, th that's going to be a desirable location for people to rent. So around hospitals or universities, around train lines, transportation, those kind of things are really important when it comes to um, when it comes to investing in property and always make sure that you do your research around um, strata searches and building um, inspections, all of that sort of stuff needs to be done to make sure that you have got a really safe, viable, long-term property. Great, thank you so much. Before you go, we're reaching the end of the discussion here. Um, what are your insights on off the plan or those deals that sound almost too good to be true that they'll pay part of your deposit for you? Any insights on that before you go? Typically, if things are too good to be true, um if they look too good to be true, they are. There's a reason that those kind of discounts, you know, give away cars and all kinds of crazy things, they're trying to entice you into buying and there's a reason behind it. So make sure that you do your research and you, uh, you know who's building it, you know who the developers are and you know what the comparable prices are in the market and get independent um, confirmation of what the expected rent is going to be. Don't just take what you've been, what's written on the brochure. Okay, thank you so much. Sounds like being brave and bold will help investors on their real estate journey. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, Leanne. And if you just joined us, we had an informative discussion with Leanne Pilkington. She's the CEO of Lang & Simmons. To watch the full recording, head to Calkine Media's YouTube channel. Keep watching for more of these live expert talks and market insights. Till the next episode, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine Media.